Hi guys, welcome back to Trash Arts News, where we bring you the latest on all things trash arts. Home Videos was released on Amazon on August 14th and is now available for purchase. Home Videos takes found footage to a new level in this heart-pounding horror. We live in a world where technology is king and where everyone is being filmed without even knowing it. Every time you step outside your door, you're being recorded, but now, even in the safety of your own home, you're still not safe. Home Videos will make you want to unsee what you've just watched and will have you on the edge of your seat. This horror starts at home. Home Videos was directed by Maud Michaud, Mike Reed, Stephen Longhurst, Diane Azura, Sam Mason Bell, Adam Jones, George James Fraser, Jason Figgis, Jason Impey and Kieran Johnson. Here's some of the directors talking about their work. Hi, Steve Longhurst. I directed one of the short films in Home Video. I hope you like them. Mine's called The Watcher. When things get too much, I like to recharge my batteries by going for a walk in the woods. I enjoy the sunshine and listen to the birds. And as I walk along, I always remember my grandma singing me the Teddy Bear's Picnic song. And I like the end. If you go down in the woods today, you better not go alone. If you go down in the woods today, you better not go alone. It's lovely out in the woods today safer to stay at home. What could possibly happen? Some people find out. Hi, I'm Maud Michaud and I made the ICU segment which stars Donna Amblin and my good friend Luc Bernier. So Luc and I, we work a lot together on these type of anthology projects. He's the one who told me about this one and he told me that his good friend Donna was supposed to come like to where we live in Montreal for a weekend to work on another one of his projects and she could actually be available for a full afternoon so to start in my project if I was interested so obviously I told him yeah I'm interested like I've been wanting to work with Donna for so long so of course I jump on the occasion and we came up with this like really cool concept so it was going to be in winter so like we're like just something outdoors with the snow and it's going to be like blood on the snow like you know very like something like unique looking with the found footage style so we were all set like you know everything was planned uh, Donna was landing at like noon we we're gonna start shooting at one like you know wrap up at four and then that was gonna be it and then the morning of shooting I wake up and I look outside and it's like boom huge blizzard like complete snowstorm like we can't even see across the street so I realized I'm like well there goes our shooting day <laughs> so if I didn't want to completely lose this opportunity to do a film with Donna and for this anthology I had to like you know come up with something else very quick so all morning like I drank tons of coffee <laughs> and then I came up with like this other different concept that could entirely be done indoors because there was no way we we're going outside in that weather so um, it ended up being something very more more simple but I feel like more effective than what we were planning which was really interesting for me because it was a return to a type of project that I already done a few years uh, prior I had made a short where it was shot on Super 8 it was like a stalker cam following a girl through, across a park and all the way back home with a reversal at the end so I took that same idea of like the stalker cam but I like you know brought it home instead where like it's much more first of all we shot it with GoPros so um, the GoPro is is an interesting like update like you know on the original format that I shot the other short with and like you know instead of being outdoors it was entirely indoors in an apartment building so it just like lends that claustrophobia feeling to it and this idea of like someone like breaking in into your place so this was a way of like you know saving a concept and just like doing something very like you know different with an unexpected twist at the end uh that could be shot like you know very quickly in one afternoon um you know and without going out in the snow um, so Donna showed up and she was a complete trooper and then we just shot the whole thing it went super well and we had tons of fun doing it my name is Jason Figgis and I am the director of the journal of a madman section for home videos slash home movies uh, slash whatever title it comes out in, in your neck of the world 
Um, it was a lot of fun to do with Steve Gunn and my wife Bernadette Manton um, out on location uh, driving around County Kerry in the Republic of Ireland. Um, and it's always a pleasure working with the guys at Trash Arts and Vestra. And uh, I really hope you enjoy our little nasty segment. Over and out. Hi, my name is Jason Impian. I'm an independent filmmaker, and I made the segment case number 019684 for home videos. And um, it's quite an important film to me, and a personal, very personal film to me. And um, I actually wanted to make a film like this for a long time. So by directing a segment for home videos, it allowed me to actually achieve a film that I was after and thinking about doing for quite a while. And basically what it is, is, is I collected loads of actual footage and home videos ranging from literally when I was zero, from when I was born, all the way to present. And this includes home videos, uh, rushes of films I've made, raw material behind the scenes, a real mixed bag of footage that I've collected and own over the last um, 34 years. There's a lot of stuff to go through. And it was an epic job to actually go through. I mean, it was untold hours. It, it went well over 20 hours of stuff I had and remastering from all kinds of formats. So, you know, we start out on a, a VHS and go through to like high A and uh, VHSC and mini DV, HDV, already HD. It, it was a real mixed bag. So technically it was quite a challenge. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and it was like, it was a very surreal experience, kind of me playing a protagonist through existing footage, watching me actually grow in in age of over the space of thirty four years, and um, I I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was it was just I'm so pleased I got to do it because it was something I was as a filmmaker I was desperate to do, so I'm really pleased that I was able to do it, and it's also featured in a a style of film that I like. I, I um I've always had a kind of morbid interest and soft spot for the kind of uh, the, the fake and the fox uh, sn uh, snuff film, the subgenre of horror. Because um, the more I delved into indie film and, and extreme cinema, obviously they they come to play quite a bit in in that. And so I thought by by doing the film how I did it, it kind of gave a real feel and edge, like a snuff film. Um, I thought I. I hoped that I captured it a bit more realistically in realism because you actually are watching raw, unnerving home videos spliced in with horrific hacks. So, you know, I, I find it quite unique and unusual and I think that's part of the challenge of being a filmmaker sometimes these days and in, in the indie scene is how can I be different, what, what can I try that's new and what hasn't been done. So I'm hoping that I ticked a few boxes with this and um, hope you enjoy. Thank you for tuning into Trash Arts News, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Trash Arts Portsmouth for daily updates.